11 News was there as the embattled sheriff left the courthouse. Yeah, meanwhile, some officials are calling for his resignation. Take a look at this live look of downtown Frederick, where the group Resource for Immigrant Services and Empowerment, or RISE, will hold a news conference. They call the sheriff's leadership dangerous. This event was planned before the sheriff announced that he's taking leave. 11 News reporter Kate Amar is joining us live now from federal court in downtown Baltimore, where the sheriff just walked out hours after his hearing. Kate. The sheriff spent about six hours here today, though we saw very little of him. He managed to make a lot of news in his time here. He faced a federal judge today who told him if convicted on all charges, he faces a maximum penalty of 25 years in prison. In a statement from his office, Mr. Jenkins announced that he was taking a leave of absence and he maintained his innocence, although in person he said very little. I have no statement. Thank you. I have no statement. Excuse me. Excuse me. You with federal officials for over a year. Did you owe it to the voters to tell them you were the subject of a criminal investigation when you asked for their vote? I have no. I have no statement. Excuse me, please. That comment from Frederick County Sheriff Chuck Jenkins on his way out of federal court today. The 66-year-old Jenkins pleaded not guilty to five federal counts. The feds allege he and a partner were behind a scheme to illegally acquire machine guns for profit and political support. Jenkins emerged from the federal courthouse about 30 minutes after his office sent out a press release announcing Jenkins was taking a leave of absence effective at the close of business on Friday. Why the decision to step down today? Excuse me. Have a good day. So Mr. Jenkins was released pending trial by the judge who also ordered Jenkins to surrender all of his firearms, including his service firearm, which prosecutors argued for. Prosecutors also told the judge they're planning for a five day trial and Jenkins alleged co-conspirator has a 2 p.m. court date here tomorrow. Reporting live from federal court downtown, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.